Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that you want. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's get to it. Okay. First of all, you have the overall energy here of you are giving away your power here somebody's giving away all their power here okay somebody is like a badass or supposed to be a badass in some type of way spirit is saying act like it okay because whatever situation you're in you're giving away all of your power okay but the reason that this person is giving away all of their power is for money so they can make it rain okay for a large amount of money and to be in this winning energy okay um, this person got a good thing going, okay? Um, they don't want to ruin it or what have you. They want the money. So, I, you know, I suppose money is the name of the game here, okay? But this person is literally putting up with what they're putting up with, um, whether they're happy or pleased with themselves or not, for the sake of money, okay? So we have dangerously in love here. Open-minded sexually. open relationship a very unhappy commitment you are being used for sex gay for pay it takes two to tango lanes playing games no affection no passion no romance no love Jezebel, sexual demon, cheaters, all y'all do is fucking fight, fraudulent marriage, she says she got a 10 inch, and sleeping with the enemy, okay guys, um, look, <laughs> Somebody has a lot going on here, okay? I'm, I'm going to let you all know, right? There could be some other people, regular, everyday, average Joes that could identify with some of the messages that's going to be in this reading here, okay? Um, I also meant to show you all the, the card at the bottom of the deck that says you are going through some tough shit, okay? So it's like somebody's going through some tough shit they're like they could be stressed out they could really kind of be unhappy or unfulfilled in some type of way yet they they do what they're doing for money as well as other reasons that we're going to get into but they give all their power in the away in the process of this it's like it's almost like a person like yeah you getting money and you on top and you winning but you being manipulated you being controlled you being used you're being abused and and thus you're going through a lot of shit okay but you know is that worse at the end of the get day you're like oh i got money you know what i'm saying oh i'm winning okay or whatever but it's one of those situations here, okay? Look, somebody is in a relationship. Like, there's multiple things that's going on here. Somebody is in, like, somebody got, like, an at-home person. Then side pieces type persons. Like, this person is cheating with side persons. And then there's even something else that's going on on side of that with this person being gay for pay this person gets a lot of their wealth by being gay for pay and this is with like older people this cheating is because this person has like um some type of lustful temptations or desires or addictions of some kind um 
but this person is also also has this relationship in this relationship the interesting thing about this relationship it started off with dangerously in love it ended with fraudulent marriage okay and in between that is a very unhappy commitment it takes to a tangle and jezebel sexual demon okay so first of all i feel like that is an arranged situation that's either like an arranged like like what you have to ask yourself what makes the marriage fraudulent okay is it a range marriage a range situation a range relationship or a range you know what i'm saying um <clears throat> i do feel like i'm also going to say i do feel like these are this is for like wealthy persons like celebrities or uh, uh persons with a, that um some type of influencer or have some type of position of leadership or power or something like that like somebody who's probably a household name or something like that who makes a lot of money or something however it may be a few things in here that may resonate with some other people okay um you know just regular people here okay but like i said this person has like there's like multiple things going on here and some of the stuff that this person is involved in is because of their occupation because of their career okay some stuff is being forced upon this person some stuff this person is a part of and do because you know it's feeding their lustful desires or temptations or um or what have you okay and then it's this is then it's just like this fraudulent marriage that this person is in like some type of arranged relationship or marriage or something and so it's like they're dangerously in love but it's an unhappy commitment but it takes both of like it takes two to tango so it takes both of them to like you know make the marry go round go round type thing but like they could both one or the other could have you know this jezebel sexual demon on them not to mention the the marriage the relationship in itself is fraudulent in some type of way okay y'all that's that's what's going on here i know it's a lot but um we're gonna get some further clarification for this situation you all please like share and subscribe that is your free way of showing your support to the channel it is greatly greatly appreciated i do thank you all in advance okay so we have here not enough okay so somebody is lacking self-confidence okay this is self-sabotage ego fear and frustrations okay this is sitting here on dangerously in love in a very unhappy commitment here okay so something is like this card is very interesting as well if, if y'all can see that this person like has blood all over their face and mouth and hands and i don't, I don't know if they're into that type of thing um if that's like some type of ritualistic thing or is that like you know some other sinister gruesome stuff going on or whatever but somebody lacks confidence okay it's like it's interesting because it's like somebody has money um somebody is in a, is in a particular position title or role but it's like you know behind the scenes they lack confidence a little okay they also do things to self-sabotage okay um they may have a big ego okay and they're awful they're also fearful of something which is which is what caused the frustration within them okay so we have girl with the snake here okay the girl with the snake is someone who charms and use someone someone who crosses someone's boundaries here this is sitting here with open mind sexually and you are being used for sex so this person is being used for sex by someone okay who is a snake okay this person is a charmer this person charmed this person is using this person has crossed this person's boundaries in some type of way um, possibly manipulating this person to clarify open relationship with gay for pay we have abundance here okay so this is positive men's mindset manifest gratitude and bliss blessings here so this person gets like the bulk of their wealth their money from partaking in this open relationship situation that is tied into being gay for pay okay um, I do feel like this is a masculine energy who is dealing with this as well here we have karmic relationships here this karmic the the, the this person's at home person this is a karmic relationship okay this could be the reason why they're dangerously in love. This is the reason why it's an unhappy commitment, okay? Um, they probably argue and fight a lot, okay? But, you know, between whatever else they have going on. But this has resentments and triggers, perceptions, intensity, and letting go, turmoil, and fleeting here, okay? Um, 
you know one endures a lot in karmic relationships okay there i mean karmic with a karmic individual there could be lying cheating stealing sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something there could be deception manipulation narcissism evil wickedness sinister type of energy someone being two-faced someone uh, stabbing you in the back someone being disloyal someone betraying you like a lot goes along with the karmic energy like it could literally be any type of energy okay someone could just totally be a hustler a player or something like that or whatever um there's a lot that goes into karmic like the, a person don't have to be all of those things that i name or they could be all of those things that i name type of thing okay to clarify lanes playing games and cheaters we have addiction here somebody has an addiction okay um someone definitely has a sex addiction but there could also be other type of addictions like alcohol addictions drug addictions or something like that because somebody is in codependent energy because of this considering the fact that this is sitting here on lames playing games and cheaters i feel like specifically even though this person may have other addictions maybe alcohol or drugs or something like that this person's addiction referring to this situation is a sex addiction here okay um this person has an obsession for something here okay this also says restraint in some type of way okay so something it has this person anchored or bound or tied to something restrained to something okay this also says possession and control um emotional block okay to clarify no affection no passion no romance no love what all y'all do is fucking fight we have poker face here so somebody has on their poker face okay um this is taking a chance, risk, and options, not showing hand, gambling, okay? So somebody is like gambling with a lot, okay? Their life in various different ways. Um, partaking in this situation here. I feel like this is something that is like maybe... This is a situation that I feel like is forced upon this person here, okay? I feel like if this person had the option, they would not partake in this person or, or with these um, in, the, in this particular situation, okay? But it's like something that's being forced upon this person for their livelihood, for money, okay? I feel like um, there's like a, a much required of this person even, okay? So we have the golden mirror here okay this is talking about this person's the person that this this individual have at home that they have this fraudulent marriage with okay y'all are not only is it a karmic relationship and there's not like there's not enough in the relationship okay because somebody's lacking confidence and they're self-sabotage and there's ego issues and there's vanity and pride and fear and frustrations somebody's a narcissist Somebody is into love bombing, someone is self-absorbed, somebody is even one-sided in the relationship, okay? So, to clarify, uh, cheaters, and she says she got a 10-inch, we have mask here, okay? So, somebody is wearing a mask, somebody is not who they appear to be. Um, someone's hiding who they truly are, okay? Um, this is someone who's a transgender, okay? Which she says she got a 10-inch. This is um, a transgender that's like not all the way transformed. Like this person may live their life like a feminine, but they still have a penis. Okay. This is hiding true feelings, pretending and deluding, gaslight and personify. So with this situation here, because of this person's addictions, lustful desires, temptation, because they've been charmed or used or boundaries have been crossed in some type of way they're stuck in this situation due to some type of obsession or restraint or possession or control over this masculine here with this person who's this transgender okay then we have old school here this sits here on sleeping with the enemy and all y'all do is fucking fight here okay the persons that this man is having sex with that he gets all this money from like the bulk of his money from these are like way older individuals okay so like if say for instance say say if this guy is like 30 that i'm just like throwing numbers out there say if this guy is like 30 these men may be like 50 60 70 80 years old or something like that that want him to be like gay for pay like like he has to be gay for pay like he has to have like gay sex with them 
and ever to get this money um i feel like they also threaten him and in different things like that because these all oh, these are way older guys is sleeping with the enemy somebody who this is referred to as the enemy but it's like if this person don't or this person rejects these persons like something could be bad for this person here okay whoever this old school mentality type of individuals this person is gay for pay for they have some outdated thinking thinking also conditioning okay which means they're they're stubborn and they're stuck in their ways okay um we have replaying events over and over in your head here you also see tapes here okay these are the type of guys that what i call fuck record you okay they get you in compromising positions compromising situations and they record you okay so if you ever want to to you know if you are ever hesitating you ever want to say no you ever reject them in any type of way or whatever they start to expose you they threaten to hurt you or they threaten to hurt your family or they threaten to set you up in some type of way they've recorded this person so it's like this person is like stuck in the situation here okay we had an extra card of date out here okay so um this actually came out between uh sleeping with the enemy as well as she says she got a 10 inch here okay so besides this relationship that this person is in the at home person this is extra stuff that is going on um this person has a sexual addiction they're cheating and seeing other people on the side but it's like they're forced to do this situation here with older men okay and so this person have random hookups and random dates with people okay that's what's going on here y'all okay i know it's totally a lot to take in okay so we have expectation here okay there's like some type of underlying expectation of this like of this person here something is expected of them okay I feel like in more ways than one here okay this person is looking directly towards dangerously in love and in a very unhappy commitment here so there's a lot that is expected of him like in all areas in all aspects um but especially in whatever this fraudulent marriage that this person is in okay we have change here okay so something changed in this person's life perhaps they want something to change or some type of change um some type of change came about in some type of way or because of what is expected of him it came with some type of major shifts or changes in this person's life here okay so there's a lot of this expected of them like at home in the relationship they have at home with this open-minded sexually um and you're being used for sex um this change because the, and cheating could just be because they wanted something different they wanted something to change or it's something forcibly changed in this person's life an open uh, relationship and gay for pay we have great fortune this is where this sits here on abundance this is where this person gets the bulk of their money here okay like i'm pretty sure they have some particular position title or role that they make money from or whatever but they're they like have to partake in this or to in order to have this great fortune okay or if they're making money other ways it's like they have to do this to keep their fortunes type of thing you understand what i'm saying so to clarify it takes two to tangle in uh jezebel sexual demon we have the privileged lady here that's sitting here on karmic relationships so this person is in like an arranged fraudulent marriage with a jezebel sexual demon who is a karmic okay they themselves have there's addictions and codependency um this is the reason this is sitting here on lanes playing games and cheaters with the wealthy man okay so both this you got a wealthy man and the privileged lady here which is like the wealthy woman okay she's karmic he has addictions this is what you understand the relationship that is going on here we have toll and labor here okay so this person has to put in a lot of hard work and put on his poker face when dealing with these older cats that he's forced to deal with here okay we have the imprisonment card here so whatever this arranged relationship marriage situationship it's like this person is trapped they're stuck here they're like stuck restricted unable to move or get out of the situation here okay 
um, they're being confined in this relationship with this person. Um, like I said, it's an arranged situation, especially if this is a celebrity or something like that. Or, um, hell, it can even be somebody in high up in government, politician, you know, anybody. They're in an arranged relationship. And even their supposed marriage is like fake. It's fraudulent in some type of way. There's a lot of issues within their relationship, in the relationship that they have at home. But then you got a lot of shit that this person is dealing with on the side, behind the scenes as well here, okay? This has this person in concern, okay? They're concerned, they're worried. You see how this person has their hand over their mouth. They don't want this secret to come out about them. I feel like this person lives a heterosexual life, okay? Um... As far as what others know about this person, they know this person to be heterosexual or, you know, a lover of women or whatever. He's concerned about his secret getting out. You see the 33 here? This person could be a part of some type of brotherhood or secret society. With this hand, you, think, you see him throwing up the devil horns here, the Baphomet horns, but he's holding it down here and he's got his hands over his mouth. So... This situation here with being open-minded sexually, you're being used for sex, uh... She says she got a 10 inch. This is something that this person is secretly involved in that they don't want anybody else to know about. They're in concern of this, of their secrets getting out, okay? To clarify, um, uh, all you gotta do is fucking fight with old school and sleeping with the enemy. We have official persons. So you see, this is our, these are official persons, older men in power, very wealthy older men in power. That this wealthy man, even though he has some type of position or, or whatever he do, you know, he makes a lot of money or whatever. He's having to sleep with these older men. He's having to, he's sleeping with transgenders as well. And as well as he, of all the mess that he's dealing with in the fraudulent marriage that he's in, guys. Whew. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have here occupation, okay? All of this that this man is enduring and going through is because of his occupation. What it is he do for work, okay? The amount of money that he has. It's like things are expected of him or um, he's forced to do certain things, okay? So once again, we have codependency here. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life here, okay? That's the, and that this ties into those expectations and the changes that came in his life here, okay? We have healing family issues. This person um, may suffer from childhood trauma. This person may also have, um, is dealing with obviously some type of family issues that he has at home, but this could also stem from childhood, okay? Um, this person may have a hard time forgiving their parents or something for something that they've endured or gone through. This says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents here, okay? So this person may need to heal some type of family issues. This person may have gone through some type of childhood trauma, which could be why tied into why this person may be confused in their sexuality in some type of way, okay? Um, because the interesting thing that I found is this guy is attracted to... <laughs> Listen, he lives a heterosexual life, but he's attracted to transgenders, yet he don't want to come out as gay. He wants to keep the side of him hidden, but he does not like having sex with the older men for money. It, it, it is a trip, okay? We have here keep an open mind here. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations here, okay? So this person was forced to keep an open mind as it relates to something here. But we have deception here. You, Somebody is wearing a false self mask in the relationship. This person was deceived by um, possibly people that he worked with, work around. There's just a lot of deception. There's even deception that comes from him. There's deception that has come from other persons. This person could have been tricked in certain ways and, and just ended up stuck in uh, situations, okay? We have make the effort here. I feel like this person have tried to make the effort in this home situation here, okay? And then we have attraction here. So like I said, he has attraction to the transgenders that he do the mess around with in secret but 
you know, he don't want to come out as bisexual, which I th would think this would be his proper term. He doesn't want to come out as bisexual. He don't want to come out as straight up gay. Um, I think he wants to continue living a life as heterosexual and nobody knowing, but um, there's a kinky side of him that actually is turned on by transgenders or whatever. And my thing is, if you're turned on by transgenders that still have their penis, then technically, yeah, you are gay. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, like, we have here, pay attention to the red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you, okay? So, there's been a bunch of red flags, um in situations is is his at home situation his work situation okay which i feel like is is maybe how he was introduced to these transgenders and different things like that um and then we have playfulness here okay um So that playfulness to me is like almost like somebody being groomed or coerced into doing something, um, flirtation and different things like that to get your way with a person type of an energy. Okay. So we have denial here. This person is in denial. Okay. They're not facing the truth. They're irrational in their reasoning as well. Um, because they because of the situation that they're in because of their, their codependency because of their addictions because of their entire situation here we have karmic okay this says third party relationships as well as lessons okay so spirit could be saying that this person is karmic spirit can also be pointing out the other people that this person is faced to deal with are karmic in some type of way we have pressure cooker here okay so this person is like ready to snap crack and pop this talks about rage um ready to explode here okay so i feel like this person could get really explosive at times because of what they're enduring because of what they're going through here okay we have settlement here which talks about agreements and compromises here you see these men here toasting over drinks or something this person is under some type of contractual agreement which means they're like stuck in something bound to something uh for the money that they get which is why this person you know is kind of forced to go along with certain other things here so we have tragedy here okay this says forbidden love here okay um this person might get caught with a transgender here. You see how this person is throwing up their hands and this light is all in their face here. This might be paparazzi or something here. Catching somebody with uh, a transgender. A transgender could secretly record this person or something like that. Uh, could try to expose this person. Could have uh, tried to extort this person for money to keep them from ex exposing them or whatever. Um, but this tragedy here says forbidden love. So I feel like it's tied into this person's... Uh, sexual escapades here and then we have the masculine man here okay so this is a masculine this person signed some type of contract they took some type of oath they uh accepted some type of deal here okay and and it's the reason why they're bound and stuck and having to be a part of a lot of these third party situations here okay guys so that's what's going on okay at the bottom of the deck we have here lockdown okay so this says mental prison confined this person is like in a mental conflict here they're stressed they're worried they're depressed they're dealing with anxiety sleepless nights sometimes they can't eat can't sleep can't think um they're feeling overwhelmed okay this person is this person may even be being locked down or confined somewhere to keep them from leaving or uh, or what have you or this is just how this person is feeling in their mind if they're not physically being you know locked down or detained somewhere okay it's like this person is in this mental prison or being confined or institutionalized or something in some type of way until persons is ready to use them like they want to yeah realization here but i do feel like this is just this person locked down in mental conflict in a mental prison in their mind here because we have realization here this is awareness finding out coming to light okay so this person um is in mental conflict about some type of you know something coming to light maybe about their sexuality here they're dealing with anxiety they're scared they're panic in some type of way um 
this person is on this emotional roller coaster here okay this is the highest high adrenaline rush here this person could also get high in some type of way okay we have family blood ties inner circle here that this person is also worried about finding out um what they're doing or what they're involved in we have on the table here which says offer proposal commitment here we also have love affair which says dirty little secret down low here okay um so yeah that's what's going on with this person y'all but this person is in mental conflict they're in mental conflict um over their situations and and like this really bothers me because it's a one thing like it for me it's one thing if you are a freak all on your own you know you into some freaky stuff this is what makes you happy this fulfills you this is what you like this is what you want to do that's your business okay do what you want to do do what makes you happy okay whether other people like it or not whether other people see it as right wrong or indifferent or whatever you understand what i'm saying um because when it comes to a person's sexuality and lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's your life. It's your body. It's your choice. You know what I'm saying? It's really nobody else's business. As long as it's not illegal what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You technically can do what you want to do. But what pisses me off is when people are put in positions and they're forced to do shit. Like they're turned out on purpose and then they're told, oh, if you don't do this, then you can't have this job. If you don't, if you reject me, if you don't do this and do that, then we're going to take this money from you. We're going to harm you, kill you. We're going to hurt your family. We're going to make you homeless. We're going to lock you up. And like, what? That, that That's just, that's messed up, okay? And I feel like this is the reason why this person is in some, this lockdown mental conflict in their mind, okay? And it's all because of their occupation, what they do for work. Because I'm telling you, like some of this stuff, like if, if, whether or not this person would still deal with the person that they are in the, you know, that they have at home or not, I'm not sure of, okay? But that is even something that's being forced upon him. Somebody has come along and arranged this uh, relationship, fraudulent marriage, I, you know, I don't know, for like uh, publicity or whatever the hell. Even his at-home relationship has been arranged. So even when this man goes home, you haven't made the decision to, this is who you want to love. This is who you want to be with. This is who you want to grow with and have a family with. This has been arranged for you and then you're stuck in it and you just have to make it work. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to this person's lustful temptations and desires, cheating, you know, other things like that, I feel like that is where he's doing what he wants to do what fulfills him what makes him happy but when it comes to this this forceful arranged marriage and when it comes to these old official persons in power with a whole lot of money controlling this person is where is this the areas where he's giving his power away where he's been used he's been abused he's been manipulated he's been mistreated he's unhappy you understand I, I just think it's total BS okay yeah and look because of this person's job occupation it's like somebody sends him these little you know I don't, I don't know these little Illuminati messages or some shit you know you then all of a sudden one day this is a message of concern all of a sudden you know they give, they send you that little discreet ass envelope or some shit you know with probably some Illuminati uh, secret seal on it and you open it up and it tells you to, to, to be at a such and such place at such and such time you know to whatever and you know it's some type of um, threesome orgy <laughs> deal or underground dungeon type shit or something you understand what I'm saying and like they have to it's like you don't have a choice. It's not like, oh, hey, we're inviting you to come and party with us at such and such. You want to come? You know what I'm saying? And giving you an option. This is like, no, be there, okay, or be square type of thing or else type of thing. Because this says message of concern. There's a card in here that says message. This is just a message. This is like, hey, you know, having a mansion party over on such and such block. You know, come through, hang out if you want to. You understand what I'm saying? This is like, you see how this person is grabbing their chest? Like when they get these messages, this person is almost shook. This person could just, could like literally shit themselves or something. Excuse my language. Okay. 
because it's something this person don't really want to do they know that something's going to be up when they get there you know what i'm saying something sinister something demonic something evil you understand what i'm saying like these people so this is what's on this person's mind they're in deep thought about this okay but this is the pathway that this person chose okay or what have you um so this is where this person is at in their life right now okay everybody got choices but um so this is what this person is dealing with okay guys um so there's a lot of conflict that goes on in at you know in his home situation here fighting fussing cussing arguments disagreements misunderstandings differences disputes quarrels but it's like he's stuck in this arranged marriage it's like somebody has told him you can't you know leave this situation it's, it's got to be like this for your image or, you know, whatever. I don't know what the hell they tell them. But there's a lot of conflict that goes on in their household. We have confinement here. This person is feeling stuck, restricted, unable to move. This person feels imprisoned. This is captivity, tolerance, unfreedom. It's like this person is unfree to make their own decisions in some type of way when it comes to certain things. The Marinette card here, this is dictatorship, domination. This person is reluctant to this. They, This person really don't like this. But do you see how this person, this is him. You see how these strings, and he's a puppet. And you got this powerful man in power here, okay? Who is running, ruling, and controlling this person overload here this person is feeling overloaded they're forced to do something in assessment here okay because of obligation they're feeling overwhelmed by this okay which causes conflict in all areas of this person's life even at home commitment here this person feels stuck feel trapped in some type of commitment this says binding contract you see how this person is stuck? They can't get out of something. They're in some type of binding contract. Thus is the reason why they feel imprisoned. Stress. This person is stressed out. They're dealing with headaches, pressure, lack of sleep. Okay? Because of this dictator dominating them. Yeah. Then this person has to deal with the home. With the, or with, with the family in some type of way. Okay? This person is dealing with this person. Here's another mask card. But this is deception, pretending, inconstancy here, okay? So even though this person may be turned on by transgenders, whoever this transgender or if it's more than one that this person is dealing with, they're shisty. They're getting over on this person. They're using this person for money or uh, manipulating this person or like something is going on here because this person is wearing a mask and this person's mask is not just because they're transgender and they're hiding the fact that they're really a man this person is full of deception this person is pretending okay so we have disturbance here okay this is obscure irritation supernatural here okay after this person leaves these 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 persons in power that they're these older official persons in power that they're having to be with this person deals with disturbances like paranormal activity the supernatural uh demonic activity being haunted and taunted by demons and different things um this problem this person may be coming into contact with like shapeshifters and you know ain't not telling what this person is seeing but they're like literally disturbed in some type of way after these you know meets with these persons here okay this causes this person to have fiery anger here to get upset okay maybe even become violent okay this is offense madness unpleasantness okay when this person is at home because they're going through a lot third wheel here so third party situations definitely going on this person is not happy at home so they're cheating okay but then they're also being forced to do this so this third wheel this says the enemy distrust flirtatiousness here okay but these these this and then you see how it's multiple faces here okay this person could just have attraction for transgenders altogether this could be you know different ones of them that this person has encountered you know they they getting over in some type of way 
hustling this person for money. Um, they could be into prostitution. You know, not just saying that, you know, oh, because they're transgenders they're into prostitution, but I'm just saying because of this person's lifestyle, because of the wealth that this person has, because of, you know, whatever industry that this person is in. Okay, the type of people that they have around them and what goes on. When this person is with these this these enemies that he's forced to sleep with, these official persons, there's some type of rituals that goes on. Ceremonies, mystery, magic. Okay? That goes on here. Somebody is very stubborn in his at home situation here. Somebody stubborn, somebody set in their ways. This is selfishness, okay? Attitude, arrogant, okay? We have indulgence here. This person indulges a lot in sex, both as well as um, maybe drinking, smoking, or what have you, okay? These 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 older men in power, they're bullies. This says embarrassment, gossip, and unwillingness. There's certain things that they force this person to do that they're really unwilling to do. They don't want to do, but they're bullied to do it. And they record them. They threaten to embarrass them. They threaten to put out gossip or rumors or something about them. Okay? We have hesitation here. Okay? So this says decisions, confusion, worry. This is what's on this person's mind. This is what this person has to deal with. Okay? This person encounters all of these transgenders and this lifestyle and different things because of the collaboration they're in, the contract that they're in. Okay? The backup, this unity, the, you know, for enhancement. Okay? It's the reason why this person indulges a lot sexually as well as into substances and other things that they are into here. These people in power, these official older men in power, they put curses and spells on this person, do rituals on this person to to maybe force them to obey or, com, you know, conform in some type of way. We got the marriage card here, which we already know that this person to to the public. People know this couple to be married, but there's something fraudulent about their marriage. And I feel like because it's arranged. Or is this person's uh, supposed wife transgender too? And they're actually the same. They're actually both men. Okay. But we have trap here. This person has been victimized, allured, tripped, tricked in some type of way. They're trapped. Okay. In this collaboration, in this contract. Okay, in these third party situations, this is the reason why this person indulged so much. This is the reason why this person feels trapped, imprisoned, stuck. And these old men in power, they cause disturbances in this person's life. They're bullies. They do rituals, black magic, voodoo, ceremonies, and, you know, uh, sacrifices and all this other kind of stuff. Put curses on this person and we have endorsement here. They bribe, tempt, and persuade this person with money. Bottom of the deck, we have fright. So this talks about depression, phobias, and paranoia here. It's what this man is going through. He's frightened of death here. They have threatened this man with death if he don't do what they want him to do. The satanic powers that be have literally threatened this man with death. If he does, if he do not go along with what they want him to do. This is the reason why he's in lockdown. He's in mental conflict. He feels stuck. Okay? Because of his occupation, because of his career, okay? And this is the very reason that this man feels grief, okay? He feels a lot of grief because of his situation. He feels regret because of the situation, the lifestyle he's living, death. These older men, official persons, these enemies in power, they threaten to kill this man, okay? He's in denial about a situation here. He oftentimes feels like a failure. And this is somebody from, from the outside looking in to other people. This is someone who has succeeded. You would see this person as wealthy. You would see this person, you know, think they're living all extravagant. And they got this and they got that. And you got no idea what this person is going through behind the scenes. Because when this person is by themselves and alone, they feel like a failure. They regret a lot of things. They're dealing with a lot of grief. And they're in denial. And then they're being manipulated, used, abused. 
mistreated, that have been trapped in a bogus ass contract, they're being used by gold digging transgenders that's hustling them for money and threatening to, to expose them. They're being used by older men in damn power. They're having to sleep with the enemy and do all kinds of not even it's not even just the sex. They're on they're doing like spell work and ceremonies and rituals and magic and all other kind of shit. And they threaten him with death. If he don't conform, if he's indecisive in, with this indecision in any type of way, they kill him. They're gonna they, they threaten to kill him. That's what this man is going through, y'all. Okay. So we're gonna get a few more messages before we wrap this reading up, guys. So we have transsexual here. Chick with a dick. Okay. This person uh, participates in threesomes, like uh, goes along with some type of threesomes. We have anal sex here. Eating ass. Okay, y'all, it's going to get a little raunchy at this point. So the rest of the reading is done. Okay, if you, I meant to tell y'all that it's going to get turned into a taboo reading. I decided to put my taboo readings over on... Um, another platform and I do them on here but every once in a while there's some other stuff that comes up okay so if you don't want to hear this part I totally understand that's pretty much the bulk of the reading okay if you don't want to listen to any more okay we have BDSM here okay so this person is treated like a sex slave okay there's something with like um doms and subs here okay which is the the, the dominant and the submissive the 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 sex slave and the master type of thing okay We have elder or senior loving here. This is like, this is older mates. I told you like 50 plus, 60 plus, 70 plus individuals that he's having to have anal sex with here. Okay. These are older, uh, this says older men desire steamy romance with younger persons. So whoever this man is, he's younger and he's having sex with, with older persons, older than he is or something like that. Okay. We have turned on by transgenders here, okay? We have um, friends with benefits, okay? Open-minded sexually, trisexual, sex toys, secret lovers, shh, and gay for pay, best of both worlds, bisexual, Ass play, bisexual threesomes, and prostitution. Okay, so this person is literally this man, grown as man, is being prost is having is being prostituted with old rich men in fucking power. Excuse my language. Okay, he has a sex addiction. He wants you to ring his bell. Okay. I do also believe that this person may have suffered some type of childhood trauma. So we have cheating's partner or spouse here. Okay. So this person definitely cheats. We have ransom hookups here. I can turn your sexual fantasies into reality. Everybody is a freak. It just takes the right person to bring it out. It's probably what them old folks is telling them. We have polysexual. So this person is poly. This person actually identifies with a lot of different sexualities. Bisexual. He it's interesting because he lives as heterosexual. And he wants to keep all the rest of this secret from the you know the rest of the world, everybody else, okay? But he actually in his real life identified with being bisexual, polysexual, as well as aromantic, okay? Now, polysexuals, they are, they have sexual or romantic attraction towards more than one gender, okay? Aromantics, they have no romantic connection, but they're sexually attracted, okay? So, this person has no romantic connection to these older men, or, or and maybe not the transgenders, but 
he enjoys like like having sex with the transgenders feeds his sex addiction but there may not be romantic connection there okay but the interesting thing is is this person is poly okay so people who are polysexual are usually have like um multiple partners as once but a lot of times your polysexuals like will have multiples like if you ever seen a, a man like one man who and he may have like three four girlfriends or three four wives but they all live together and they all do each other okay it's polysexual <laughs> okay um yeah so it, it it's it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot going on with this situation but this person is in mental conflict behind the scenes this person is stressed out they're worried they're concerned they're in mental conflict they're frightened um, of death that these people are going to kill them okay they're bound to 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 bogus as contracts and different things commitments and different things because of their occupation okay and this is the reason why spirit is saying this person is going through some tough shit okay that's what's going on here, y'all. I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you might be dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you might notice someone is dealing with. Yeah, look at that. Deception, temptation, attraction, hot, Mars energy here, okay? So there's a lot of deception and a lot of temptation with this guy here, okay? I see apology and forgiveness here, okay? Somebody may have found out about something. Somebody, he may have done somebody something. This person wants to apologize to someone. He wants somebody's forgiveness. Okay, this person feels guilty for sabotaging someone. It says guilt and sabotage here. Have disharmony triggers in conflict. You all, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, this person is feeling separation and longing. A longing for something, okay? There's a lot of confusion and illusions, Neptune energy. We have regret and repression here. This person is closed off, guarded, and resistant. Okay? It's like they go along to get along in an effort to have stability and harmony and flow in their life. And then we've got the masculine energy here. Okay? And we have uh, Pluto energy transformation at the bottom of the deck. Okay? Lack and doubts. Okay? Remember awakening present energy here this person is feeling guarded and vulnerable there's limitations and fears there's some type of limitations that's been put on this person they're in fear okay yeah they're bound to some type of to to these contracts it says avoidance and stalemate here yeah this person is going through a lot like dealing with a lot um as it relates to the situation okay so persons who could be, um, this reading could resonate with, okay, um, this would be the first initial of their name. We have an L here. We have K, J, D, R, P, S, I, G, and E. Or excuse me, F. But it could be an E. E came out in for some reason okay um i also see a z at the bottom of the deck that that one's kept trying to come out when i was shuffling those or what or what have you so the person who is dealing with this their first initial of their names could be any one of these letters here okay guys so um like i said like share and subscribe guys if you want to contact me you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com you can also follow me on instagram which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word um if you're feeling interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly appreciated. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond. 
um, as always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So you watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Also, guys, real quick, be sure to get your memberships today at a discounted rate um, for your special perks and the offers that I have available for you. I have posted a members only video, okay, that um, those of you who are members already um, can go and view, okay? And so we're going to, I'm going to start posting um, some more stuff and doing um, more stuff for the members only as you all. Um, subscribe to be a member okay so i thank you all in advance to the next time peace love and light namaste